today the topic of discussion is keys in dbms it's one of the very important topic what are different keys in dbms so we'll understand what are different keys and let me tell you one thing very clearly that before studying normalization one thing which you should know uh, that is that are prerequisite of normalization is functional dependencies i've already told you anomalies i've already told you then keys and and different different functional dependency we'll understand later so let's start with the keys what is key of a table and the table is in front of you suppose the table name is a student fine suppose the table name is a student and i want you to find exact information of john so there are two john one john and two don so you get confused so you get confused that you will not be able to give me the unique information of john suppose i'm looking i'm i'm, I'm looking for uh, information of john so there are two john who are having same marks say cs department cs and they, they both the johns are having the ex exactly same information and it is quite possible that a student two student can get equal marks they both are from cs department and their course are c1 so in that case you will not be able to determine which john i am talking about and suppose there is only two john and now if suppose there could be four five seven john in a class then in that case it will be difficult for you to determine the unique information so right now in a table you don't have any of the column which uniquely identify the table so what you did now you have added one column the column name is role now if somebody asks you the information of john you will ask him which role number you are talking about so if i tell you role number one then this john is entirely different and if you say role number suppose there is again a roll number six is of John and the rule number uh, is again 60 CS and C1 so if I talk uh, roll number six then this John is entirely different fine okay so what is definition uh, an attribute fine or a column an attribute is a column or set of attribute or more than one attribute which uniquely determine what tuple that is row of a table is called key of a table fine a tuple a, a column a column or attribute which uniquely identify what a row of a table so this column roll number is what a, a key column a key attribute because because of this roll number you can uniquely determine entire tuple so this is what roll number is key fine okay so what are different keys which you will study here is super key candidate key alternate key primary key unique key and foreign key so these are main topic of discussion of today's class and i'll explain you each and every key key very clearly let's start with the super key so super key super key is same as key of a table so like key the definition of key is what uh, attribute or set of attribute which uniquely identify tuple of a table so super key definition is also same super key is same as key of a table which is an attribute column or set of attributes set of columns which uniquely determine row tuple of a table is called what super key so you might be thinking what is difference so difference is what super set of super key is also super key so now if you see uh, so, uh, column a a all the values are different that is it's just like roll number so what is a is a super key again super set of super key is also super key if i add something a b if a is a super key then AB is also super key because super set of super key, super set of super key is also super key. Now, if I add ABC, then ABC is also what? Super key. Fine. So, super set of super key is also super key. Super key can have all the attribute of table and you have just seen that super key is having all the attribute of a table. So, this is our actual super key. That is super key is a key which a uniquely identified tuple of a table. A super set of super key is also super key. Super key can have all the attribute of a table. Fine. So, what are different super key? A, A, B, A, B, C and if you see B, C, combined B, C, not B because B, if you see individually B, the information of B is repeating. So it cannot be key. If you see information of C is also repeating, you cannot take it individually as a C. But if you combine, if you combine both B and C, so both B and C can uniquely determine because A, A is a different value than A, B and A, B is a different value than B, A and B, B. So all the, all three, all the four values are different. So B, C could also be a super key. So B, C could also be a super key. Fine. So there are four super key you have seen. Fine. So question now comes determine maximum number of a super key in a table having five, at five attribute. So it's one of the very important questions generally asked in most of the competitions. The question is that suppose a table has five attribute that is A, B, C, D and E. Now how many different super key a table can have? How many number of super key? So what I just told you a super key can have only one column 5C1 
or super key can have two column 5c2 or super key can have three column out of five or super key can have four column out of five or super key can have all the five super key can have all the attribute of a table so 5c1 is one factorial five upon factorial one into five minus one is what factorial four factorial four plus factorial five upon factorial two into five minus two is what factorial three again 5c3 factorial five upon factorial 3 into 5 minus 3 is what factorial 2 5 c 4 is factorial 5 upon factorial 4 into 5 minus 1 is 1 factorial 5 c 5, 5 factorial 5 factorial 5 then 5 minus 5 is what 0 factorial fine and 0 factorial is 1 so 5 factorial upon 4 factorial what you will get the answer you get 5 into 4 factorial that is you will get only 5 then 5 into 2 into 3 factorial 3 will cancel from 3 5 to 10 and when you divide 5 5 for 20 when you divide 5 with 20 with 2 you get 10 so this will give you 10 this will give you 10 you solve this this will give you uh, 5 and this will give you what 5 factorial 5 will cancel this will give you 1 so uh, the answer you are getting is what 31 fine so the answer you are getting is 31 so correct answer is 31 so do i need to calculate this all rubbish always do i need to calculate all this rubbish now is it's only five columns now if suppose there are 100 columns then do, do i need to calculate 100 c 100 c 200 c 100 no the correct formula is 2 ki power n minus 1 the formula is 2 to the power n minus 1 where n is number of attribute where n is number of attribute so now you have total number of attribute is 5 minus 1 2 keep power 5 2 to the power 5 is 32 minus 1 is what 31 so correct answer is what 31 see you are getting 31 so answer is what 31 so correct hope you understood what are what is super key now let's start with another candidate key so what is candidate key i just told you i just told you that a is in, in the given table a was super key a b was super key a c can be super key a b c can be super key and b c was super key i just told you fine okay because if a is a super key all the attribute of a b a was different so anything which you combine with a will also be a super key because super set of super keys also if you combine b with a b it's also super key if you combine c with a it will always be a super key if you combine a b c with a will always be super key and b c individually b c collectively sorry b c collectively are different so b c is also super key now my job is not to explain super key. my job is what is candidate key so candidate key is a super key candidate key is also super key whose no proper subset is a super key candidate key first is a super key so candidate key is a super key but condition is that its proper subset should not be a super key its proper sub sub subset should not be a super key fine okay all these are super key fine so can this be a candidate key so candidate key is a super key fine yes it's a super but its proper subset should not be a super key abc proper subset is ac and this is a super key so this cannot be candidate key can this be a candidate key definition says if this is a candidate key then its proper subset should not be a candidate key ac proper subset is a fine ac proper subset is a which is a super key so this cannot be candidate key fine can ab be a candidate key a, if a b should be a candidate key then no proper subset of a b should be a super key proper subset of a b is a and it's a super key so it cannot be a candidate key can a be a super key, candidate key yes a can be a candidate key because now you can a cannot be have any of the subset because a is an individual attribute now left with b c it's b c is a super key yes it's a can it be a candidate key any of the subset a subset of b c can be b any of the proper subset any of the proper uh, proper subset of bc can be b or c proper subset of bc can be b or c neither b nor c is a super key so yes bc can be a candidate key now so we have two candidate key one one is a and one is bc fine so this is the definition of candidate key now primary key very important what is primary key primary key is a key attribute or attributes which uniquely determine tuple of a table fine so primary key is a key which uniquely identify tuple of a table there are various constraints on primary key there are two constraints primary key cannot be null definitely if suppose roll number i am saying roll number is a primary key can you imagine that roll number can be null no roll number can never be null p key primary key can have primary key cannot have duplicate value and have you ever heard two student having same roll number no it's not possible so primary key 
cannot have duplicate value that is primary key will always ha always have a unique value and primary key cannot be null fine so this is the definition of primary key okay then come alternate key then come alternate key so let me tell you second definition of candidate key what is second definition of candidate key nominee nominee nominees of primary key nominees of primary key those attribute which has capability to become primary key are called candidate key suppose if i say roll number yes roll number has a capability to become what primary key mobile number mobile number is always unique it cannot have duplicate value have you ever heard two two person having same mobile number no so this is unique ssn social security number this is always unique okay passport number fine passport number these all are what candidate keys these all are what candidate keys because they all have what they all have characteristics to become they all have quality to become primary key so these are what candidate key so what is alternate key suppose i have selected roll number as a primary key i was having four options and from four options i choose i i have chosen a roll number as a primary key then all this remaining will act as a alternate key fine so the key which are left after selecting primary key from candidate key are called alternate key fine okay now comes the next definition of unique key a unique key is a set of one or more attribute unique key and primary key are same i again unique key is always equal to primary key but there is a some difference primary key cannot have null value primary key cannot have null value unique key can have null value but only one time unique key can have a null value only one time so this is the only difference between primary key and uh, unique key primary key and unique key they both have same definition that it's a attribute which uniquely determine tuple of a table primary key cannot have null value unique key can have null value but only one so read the definition a unique key is a set of one or more than one field column of a table that uniquely identify record of a table that fine till now definition is same you can say that there is a little uh, it's little like primary key but it can only accept it can accept only once null value and it cannot have duplicate value so uh, for duplicate value it cannot have a duplicate value but it can accept null values fine okay foreign key foreign key what is foreign key so foreign key uh, i just tell you there are two table student and subject so if i if you have already seen my video of uh, uh, foreign key uh, in sql then you will understand this concept very clearly so what is foreign key foreign key is a key whose values are determined from primary key of another table that is this means if you are talking of primary foreign key then there is always more than one table so is a key whose values are determined from primary key of another table that means another means there are more than one table fine so suppose there are two table and both the table are having same column this is also having column role and this is also having column role and suppose student is a master table the biggest table then role here here will act as primary key and the role here will act as what foreign key and if you want to enter the information of foreign key it will always be derived from primary key of another table so the definition is that is a key foreign key is a key whose values are if suppose i need to enter 4 then this 4 will be derived from this and you can only put 4 over here when you, 4 is existing over here so is a key whose values are determined from primary key of another table fine okay now very important there are two constraint on foreign key like primary key pri primary key also having two constraint that primary key cannot have null value and primary key cannot have duplicate value similarly there are two constraint attached with foreign key also what are two constraint insertion constraint and deletion constraint so let me read it for you what is insertion constraint that you cannot insert value in child table that is you cannot insert value in child table if value is not lying in a master table that is if you want to insert five new jersey jersey and suppose os here can you insert no not possible because rule number five is not existing in a master table so you cannot insert value in child table if the value is not lying in a master table so this is not possible fine okay second constraint is that you cannot delete value from what if you suppose you want to delete three from what master table can you delete no why because if you delete this because if you delete this then rule number three is existing over here so again insertion is uh, not followed because this child table is having role number three while master table is not having role number three so if you want to delete then delete from child first so you cannot delete value from master table if the value is lying in a child table so see the definition you cannot insert value in child table child table is also called referencing table 
if the value is not lying in a master table master table is also called referenced table deletion constraint you cannot delete value from master table or referenced table if the values are like in a child table fine so this is all about foreign key so thank you so much